Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. Um, not really a. Oh, oh that catches me off guard every time, actually. So, yeah, uh, apparently you can't have two male chickens in the same pen. I don't know if that's the reason that chicken is dead, but they're dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume the worst. Um, we are not really accomplishing a lot today in terms of, like, I don't know. Uh, big projects, but I do accomplish something rather large in some sense. Uh, we'll get to it I guess I'm gonna be super vague about it. But first I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of that brass We'll make some more brass later, but this lantern is actually gonna be um, Kind of moving around the place. We I decided to put it there for now and uh, it'll it'll change places a few times But yeah today we're gonna be focusing a lot on food um I have a lot of sort of culminating things, you know, they're mounting to a point where we're uh, harvesting our rye for one thing, which is kind of a big deal. Um, we're basically going to have rye forever. Um, I don't see myself running out anytime soon. We've got enough for making flour um, and I'm throwing that in our automated kern. You know, I, you got to you got to emphasize automated current because that's that's just like the best thing ever right of course um and we're making some more brine and we're gonna be pickling more things gonna be pickling some more turnips some more parsnips some more whatever kind of root vegetable we got lying around i don't know if i'm going overboard with um pickling vegetables but i'm still just very excited about it in general so uh, you know, why not? Why not go a little bit crazy with it? It's not like we, you know, are in lack of food. So uh, if I don't end up, you know, needing or using all of the pickled vegetables, it's it's fine. It's just a good way of preserving um, some food. We're back to making juice. Back on my bullshit with the juice, you know, making that juice. Gotta, gotta make that, that cranberry uh, beverage, you know. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna take that, that fruit mash and throw it in in the you know in the sheep pen and it's a little bit of a mixed bag i was expecting i don't know i don't know what i was expecting we're making pies by the way um i don't know what i was expecting with the dry mash but i i figured um the the sheep would you know eat it and they do but they don't seem to eat it very quickly and the problem with the dry mash is it doesn't last very long it lasts like a day max and then it starts to spoil. So spoilers, I've already had some of the dry mash spoil in the trow, in the trog, you know? Um, and uh, I, it's a little disappointing, I guess. I know that, uh, you know, feeding the dry mash to your animals is just a, another thing you can do with it. Something you can do with it is pretty much a byproduct. Um, it's not really any kind of end game product, but um, at, the, at the same time, I was kind of hoping to see a, a little bit more i don't know i i guess i was hoping the sheep would enjoy it more is if that's how, how do you even how do you even gauge that right like do you do you talk to the sheep ask the sheep did you enjoy it did you enjoy that and and then they you know headbutt you to death um because they're gen one uh sheep and you 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 have a long road to travel in that regard as well but anyway we're making pies I'm um, going to go ahead and turn some of that that rye uh, into some some dough and then finish up these pies. And uh, you might have noticed I have uh, made a move there. I have uh, basically cleared up a little bit of space next to the oven. At not just, um, you know, a surface, but also above it because uh, I'm, I'm actually going to be making another oven. Because I'm going to increase, like, uh, the next couple of episodes are, are all about increasing our uh, production of certain things. Um, not just food, but also things like leather and, uh, you know, uh, uh, etc. You know, there's there's other things that we're going to be improving and uh, increasing production on. Because why not? You know, when you have enough supply, um, it, uh, it stands to reason that you'll need to increase your, your ability to process materials. Um, so, uh, hence a second oven, and we'll get to other things, uh, other forms of food production or processing in a minute. But uh, I'm also going to be getting rid of, or getting, uh, using up our bismuth. We got uh, two bars left of the copper bismuth, um, and we're going to get down to bismuth 
in just a minute as soon as I eat some vegetable pie and it's it's pretty good I won't lie uh, I think this is like a carrot turnip onion pie I I wouldn't mind trying that in real life if, if I'm being honest um I, I pretty much put every vegetable in it that I could so that would include it's turnip parsnip onion uh and there's one more in there I think as well carrot did I say carrot? I think I said carrot. Anyway, we're, um, I'm digging into my basement. I wanted to, uh, finally kind of check this box because it had been bothering me for, um, tw good 25 plus episodes. I don't know how long this has been a problem that I have been needing to deal with, but, uh, I wanted an actual cellar, uh, one that functioned properly. And I think our, the, the cellar we have does function properly. I just don't think it functions very well. And uh, part of that is because I think I have chiseled bricks that are part of that structure. And the other reason is it's not very deep. And the deeper you go with your cellar, the high, better it does to preserve food. Because, you know, in addition to processing food, we also want to in increase our capacity to, uh, you know, store said processed food. Um, now that we have beeswax um, actually happening and we have like a, an abundance of beeswax it stands to reason we want to preserve and we want to have um a long um you know uh, like the ability to to keep food for a very long time so hence a second cellar and this cellar is going to be long for long storage for cold storage um for food that we don't necessarily want to eat right away in in many ways almost this is an emergency storage because i don't really want to come down here all that often it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to come down there I think things like wheat would be good. So like, you know, every once in a while, uh, we'll, we'll go down and we'll grab a bundle of, of uh, grain, whatever, whatever we need at the time. Um, you know, the, the stuff that isn't gonna spoil anytime soon, like the stuff that we want to grab occasionally, make some pies, but uh, you know, that we are very certain we'll just keep basically till the end of time. But you know the the turnips there. You see that they're, they're good for about seventy days down here, and the the the, um, the perseverance. I guess is that the word. The perishables. They they seem to keep better down there for sure. Like these um these uh, sealed soups. You might notice they they kept for eighty days in my other cellar, and they're gonna keep for one point five years in this new cellar. So that's uh, it's very very good at, for keeping food longer. Um, so, you know, things like pies will keep in the cellar upstairs so that, that it is ac accessible, especially if I cut them up. I'm pretty sure by cutting them, I do cut their uh, lifespan in half. Um, so that's probably not recommended and I should not do that in the future, but whatever, that's fine. I, I uh, spoiler alert, I do get through all of that pie before it spoils, so that's good enough. And we're still going through this mash and we're throwing it in our trogs for the sheep and they just look very unimpressed with that and it doesn't look very impressive either i have to say but hey at least i saw them eat it that was a that was kind of a win that was a w you know as they say i don't think i don't think anyone has ever used that term to apply to you know a sheep eating food but hey i'll take it you know um so here's here's a problem here's a mistake i make in this session I went ahead and uh, started working on our bismuth and uh, you know I make a shovel because we needed a shovel and I was like you know what I should start working on our next armor so I, st I start working on some bismuth bronze chain right and you can probably already see where this is going you can probably see the problem at hand here is that that is not enough material to go over uh, you know everything and make the chain so you need more than one bar to make chain now the problem is is that these were my last two bars of bismuth bronze chain and i'm pretty sure i don't have at least at the time of recording this uh, session i don't have enough materials to make any more bismuth so that is a problem that's a bummer and you know it was probably really stupid making it out of bismuth bronze in the first place because that means we're gonna have to make all of our bismuth bronze out of um uh, uh, sorry all of our chains out of bismuth bronze bronze can't speak here so um that was a really dumb thing i'll pr i might end up scrapping that little bit of chain and instead making um making our chain out of something else but i do want to work on the chain mail it's going to be a very time consuming process much like uh, making the shingles for the roof you know it's a it's a thing that we're going to be working on for a long time so 
Uh, with our new shovel, which uh, had a pointed purpose, I needed to get some more clay. I start working on a new oven, which, uh, you know, is it's, it takes a little bit longer than you think. But there it is. And uh, there it goes. And there it sits next to the other oven. And uh, looks good. Um, and uh, I'm continuously, like, I, the thing about crops is they don't all tend to mature at the same time. Um, which can be a pain. I, I, I'm a very impatient person when it comes to these kind of things. So I do wait for some of the stragglers to mature and then I just kind of cut the rest because I just want to get the next crop growing as quickly as possible. And it's not like I need the the last couple of grains, you know, I'm not in need. So I'd rather just wait uh, or plant as quickly as I can. I went ahead and scrambled some of our eggs. We are scrambling eggs. Not sure yet what to, the best use for eggs are just yet. So um, scrambled eggs it is. I guess they're a good um, kind of like extra source of protein. You can throw in a soup or uh, not a pie. They, for some reason they don't want, they don't let you put eggs in pie, which I think is just a missed opportunity. Um, we have two types of berries in our greenhouse. We've got the red currants and we've got the black currants, I think. And uh, so I needed a second barrel so we can actually start processing black currant juice. And we got a temporal storm. And these temporal storms are becoming kind of uh, exhausting, I will say, because I've got light everywhere and they're still spawning in my house. So I don't really know what's up. Maybe someone could tell me in the comments. I'd really appreciate that, honestly. We get, we occasionally, we, like at least once per temporal storm, also get these two headed guys that can like one smack kill me to death which is a real pain and it started raining right after the temporal storm which was kind of nice I, I was really enjoying these rain vibes while I went and tended to my bees and decided to do a big harvest of bees I wanted to grab a whole bunch I've decided like I'm not gonna you know the, it's a bit tricky how you want to harvest the bees because the thing is, is that in order for them to replenish, you have to make sure there's bees left in the field, right? So you don't want to you don't want to be too aggressive with harvesting the bees. So uh, hence, I'll do like one diagonal line, and that way the uh, you know uh, adjacent beehives can um, eventually swarm and uh, then replenish the new empty hives. So that's sort of my method. It it works, and you know what? We're getting quite a lot of honey and uh, beeswax, so I don't I'm not too concerned with whether or not it's optimal or not um and i went ahead and checked our animal trap and there was indeed some animals and uh decided to make some more food we're, we're making some chicken egg pie or soup stew i guess which sounds grisly as heck but hey whatever um and i was just like enjoying the general vibe of you know things as i collect their collect our wheat um, store it that uh, keep an eye on that dry mash there um, spoiler alert <laughs> That's a joke you get it um, Pretty good, right? I'm happy with that. I'm pretty proud of that actually uh, And I finally pulled in our Second pot because I've been meaning to get this going for a while. We have a second uh, Fireplace with a second pot so we can process food Faster, hence, um, you know, we're, we're doubling our production, basically, literally. Uh, and I had some extra dough left, so I go ahead and put it on the shelf there. I don't know if I end up processing that, but I should. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll, it's still good. I've done one more session, and I, I think it'll still be fine. So we'll see. But um, I decided to process some of this, you know, stew and preserve it. So I'm putting some wax around these crocs. And, uh, and then I throw them down in our deep storage um, for, you know, for later, for the future. And uh, I like to leave things on a highlight. I like to kind of leave things on a, on a milestone in a way. And so I decided to make soup. And soup is uh, basically the same as stew. Um, you just need a little bit of water and uh, whatever vegetable you want. The nice thing about soup is you don't need meat. Um, so that, that makes it nice in a way you don't have to usually you have to put some kind of meat in in order to process the food so if you put in water then that means you only need vegetables which is kind of nice i guess that's the main difference between soup and stew is that one has um meat and the other one just has vegetables someone can tell me how wrong i am i don't i don't mind i know i've had chicken soup so that the, i already know that's wrong 
so never mind. But hey, it's really nice to like put a crock of uh, stew up on your shelf and see 1.9 years of, uh, you know, that it'll keep for. That's just really cool. So we grab our cabbage uh, soup and, you know, cabbage soup is something I've enjoyed in real life. So it's kind of nice to make something that you've enjoyed in real life in your game. And a little detail I love in this game is that, is, and I took note here, is that there's some steam coming off of our little bowl of soup. So that's fun. I like that a lot. Throw in some more uh, water and some more soup. We're basically processing our cabbage. And I had exactly enough to make some hefty cabbage soup. And uh, that stuff is great, actually. Uh, the cabbage is, takes a long time to grow, but you know, it's good. Cabbage is a, is a, is a good fruit, uh, food. I almost called it a fruit. That would, that would have been disastrous. Make sure our log pile is nice and aesthetic while we go in and process some leather. And uh, I'm just, I, 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 I'm kind of reworking this leather area and uh, this is something I work on in the, in the next episode, but I don't like the fact that there's like, there'll be like a little dribble of borax or a little dribble of light tannin in there. So something I'm trying to have is like a barrel, uh, enough buckets here so that I can grab the last remaining little scoop. And then um, maybe over time I can like, uh, wait, wait, coalesce or like combine our fluids for the sake of, you know, making sure we're, we're using all of our stuff. And, uh, and then I go ahead and do a bit of grunt work chores and grab some more cattails so we can make some more, uh, uh, beehives. And that's about it. I don't know if there's much else. I decided to just end things on, uh, on a nice vibe. Some, some nice rain and thunderstorms while I pick some berries in our greenhouse. Can't get much more wholesome than that. No sir. No sir and or ma'am. So, hey, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, if you have, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more of this business. More of this bismuth. Yeah. Take it easy.